Good morning, good afternoon, good night. As always, I hope you guys had an amazing day, you had an amazing afternoon, and you're gonna have a good night. Today we have five things to make your S650 or your 2024 Mustang faster. Just super quick, this is the same spot I filmed my one year review on the Infiniti Q60. I'll pop that up here. Thank you guys for all the support on the video. That is my biggest video to date. So you guys show a bunch of love on this one for giving these tips. Uh, and then we'll jump right into it. So let's roll the intro and then we'll jump into the video. Peace. So let me start off by saying I would say four of these things are pretty common knowledge uh, to the public if you're into racing, if you're into drag strips, stuff like that, uh, tracks, stuff like that. Uh, these are in no specific order, but I have one of them in here. Completely secret. Nobody really knows about this yet besides a couple people. And it, it's going to increase your power the most. Uh, so we'll start off with number five and that's just gonna be weight reduction. So on a lot of these cars, and I'll walk to the trunk right now, on a lot of these cars, they come with a spare tire. It's a little bit muddy and I got the Jordans out, but whatever. So a lot of these come with a spare tire, which will sit right here. As you can see, I've already taken mine out. Um, so anytime you're going racing, going for personal records or whatever at the drag strip at the track uh, lose as much weight as possible um, if you're making 500 horsepower and uh, you're racing another car that has 500 horsepower but you weigh 3,500 pounds and they weigh 4,000 pounds nine times out of ten you're gonna win power to weight ratio is one of the biggest things that people don't understand uh, so if you do get the chance and uh, you have a passenger or whatever try to lose that passenger I raced a headers full E85 S550 Gen 3 he had a passenger and we were side by side At the second the passenger left he started walking me so weight ratio is a huge thing that people really don't understand if you want a personal records you want to take your spare tire out take your seats out whatever you got to do to get your personal records I would recommend doing that 100%. All right, so you guys see I popped my hood. Number two is gonna be your carbon traps. So these sit inside of your intake. So let me go ahead and pop over my hood. I made a video on me taking these out. Sorry for how dirty it is, but. So inside, the, inside these intakes here, you take the throttle body out, you pop this up, you disconnect all the the rods and everything. I made a video of me taking those out. Alone removing the carbon traps inside of it, you're gonna gain roughly 16 to 20 wheel horsepower, which for something that is completely free to do, anybody can do it. I don't work on cars. I hate working on my own cars because I always mess something up. But I went ahead and did this just because of how easy it is. And you gain roughly 16 to 20 wheel which is absolutely insane on how much these things are restricted from factory on their airflow. Even though they're dual throttle body, they're still extremely restricted from factory. So that alone is a huge plus on these cars. For new, that how restrictive it was, it was guidelines they had to keep to keep this car a V8. So I think they made it easy on purpose to take out for the people that want to push these cars to their limits. Um, so that's gonna be number two. And even though it gains 16 to 20 wheel, that's not the, the craziest thing on this list. I'm keeping that secret. So y'all gotta watch this video and y'all can see later on. There's something in here that can gain 40 plus wheel horsepower with no tune. These cars don't have a tune yet. We're still waiting for a tune. All we have is we've seen what you're going to be able to change, but we can't actually change it yet. Um, so I think these cars are going to be an issue on the streets. But let's go ahead and let's roll into the third thing. All right, so number three, 
on these cars and it's not even specifically on these cars but it's gonna be the weather it's not something that we can control but it makes a huge difference whenever it comes to power and what these cars are producing you know you got the DA you got the weather temps that affect our car temps how hard we run these so I'm gonna hop inside and these kind of go hand in hand the weather and what you want your personal best run to be as far as temp wise to get the most amount of power so let me hop inside the car and then uh, I'll show you all the dash all right y'all so I hopped inside the car now uh, and this is our gonna be our temperature gauge uh, when you're looking at these temperatures what you really want to do is keep the oil engine temp under 230 whenever you're making your pass for your transmission oil temp you want that to be uh, above 180 uh, but below 190 to 200 and that's really going to be your strongest power output uh, as far as intake temp since the car has been sitting a little bit it, the intakes are going to get hotter obviously it's about 60 degrees outside i don't know if you can there you go it's about 60 degrees outside so typically you would want that to be uh, two to five uh, Fahrenheit above the outside temperature like I said uh, for your personal best time you want to run it anywhere from 50 to 60 degrees outside and so you want that intake air temp to be you know five uh, Fahrenheit max above um, the outside temperature now the reason this is, is because if you keep all of those temperatures around what I was talking about, your car is going to be not running too cool to where uh, your oil temp is flowing and stuff like that, uh, but it's going to be at the perfect temperature to where it's not running too hot and it decreases the power of your car, you're not heat soaking it. Uh, so that's going to be number three on the list. Let's go ahead and jump into number four. All right, so not leaving from inside the car here. Uh, number four is just gonna be the the power band of these cars and where you wanna be whenever, uh, say you're roll racing or um, you're down in Mexico having some fun. So on these cars, uh, their strongest suit is gonna be the drag racing mode. You wanna be in drag racing mode 100% of the time whenever I mean you're at the drag strip if you're racing in a straight line obviously if you're not going in a straight line and you're out of the track or whatever track mode is going to be the best uh, but so whenever you're lining up next to somebody you want to go ahead and slap it in the manual mode here um, and then as soon say you're lining up you want to be as close to whatever gear you're rolling from if you're rolling from a 60 40 50 whatever you want to be as close to roughly 51, 5200 as possible. That's going to be where the horsepower and the torque cross lines on a dyno graph. And that is going to be your strongest punch that you'll feel in these cars. Uh, so anywhere from 5100 to I say 5500 is going to be exactly what, where you want to be for your strongest power band. So as soon as you punch the car, you want to shift it up into drive and then let the car drive itself if you have a 10 speed obviously if you have a manual that's a completely different story you still want to be around the 5,000 to 5,500 range uh, if you have a manual I hope you can shift fast enough because these 10 speeds are wild uh, but as far as the mode you want to be in and your best power output uh, is going to be 5,000 to 5,500 manual mode as soon as you punch the car, just shift it up in the drive, let the 10 speed shift for itself, and then uh, you'll be uh, taking some people to Gapplebee's. All right, y'all, so I had to hop back out of the car. That's just how special this little secret is that I've been having. So these cars, as everybody knows, from the S550 or whatever, to run full of 85, flex fuel kit, and then you can, all the fueling is already there right but you need a tune as well on these cars we don't have a tune yet so what a lot of people don't know is you can put up to e50 in these cars with no tune and my butt dyno feels it people have at least the person that told me about this they've dynoed the car with e50 in it and they gained 43 wheel horsepower 
So gaining 43 wheel with no tune is, I mean, that that's unheard of, right? It's completely, well, I wouldn't say it's free to do, but it's just like you're getting normal gas. You're just filling up with a little bit of E and then a little bit of 93. Um, I like to keep it around E35 to E40, and the reason being is because if you go E51, it throws a light, uh, it reads some fuel light, it doesn't change the way the car drives, um, but then you have that light on the dash, you take it into service, whatever, to get it cleared, and they're gonna know that you've been messing with the car, you don't wanna lose warranty since there's no tunes or anything yet. Um, but they are developing a flex fuel kit that you can use with no tune that will allow you to run full E85. So I'm ex super excited for that because whenever they were dynoing it and testing out the flex fuel kit, you were getting roughly 65 to 70 additional wheel horsepower with no tune. Which, I don't know how big of balls you guys have to run these cars with no tune and run a little bit of E, but let me tell you right now, the difference you feel is absurd like you can you can literally feel the difference in the car the way it drives if you do everything else that i told you guys to you should be mid to high nine seconds 60 to 130. i'll throw up right now my best 60 to 130 time and this is even before i took out the carbon air traps so it might be a little bit quicker now uh, but this is with a little bit of weight reduction perfect temperature on the car and in the sky and a little bit of E. Um, so you guys follow everything pretty much I talked about in this video and that is going to be the cheapest and easiest ways to increase the speed of your S650. Now not all of them increase the horsepower but like I said weight to, to power ratio is a huge thing. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video Please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below if you guys have any other uh, tips or tricks to make your S650 or 2024 Mustang a little bit faster until tuning comes out. Uh, trying to figure out everything you can do. Uh, once tuning comes out, these cars are an open platform. Uh, but until then, I hope you guys have a good day, good afternoon, and good night. Peace. One more thing. I forgot to mention, I just hit my first monetization goal. I just hit 3,000 watch hours. You guys know I hit my subscriber count. So I wanna shout out you guys. Thank you so much. I now have a member program. Uh, down below, you see that little join button. I have two different perks, uh, a $2.99 or a $1.99 a month. That's gonna give you access to early videos uh, that I post roughly a day to two days early. And then a $4.99. Uh, I wouldn't worry about the $4.99. The $4.99 is going to be more once I come out with merchandise because uh, you'll get discounts on that stuff. You'll get a discount code. Uh, but until the meantime, that $1.99 is there if you guys want to show extra support. If not, completely okay. Just hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.